All right, all, welcome back to Beanie Tobbies. In this video, we've got another little uh, unboxing for you all. And this time we have a replica of the Fusion Flea from Fallout. Now, this collectible is made by the Wand Company. It is a die cast 118th scale. Nice box. Let's get in. Let's give you a quick little look around the box. Now, obviously, I got this to go with the um, new Coca Cola lorry you can see just there in the background. So, let's get this lid off this and have a little look at it. Okay, so it's taped up, so we have another little knife. When I say we have another knife, it's about as sharp as what I am. Okay, so tape's off. No, it's not. There's still more tape. Tell me what these guys really do like the endless amount of tape. All right, before we get into it, let's have a little look, see what comes with it. All right, so in the bag we have. Let's just move you guys up a bit. We have a manual. And we also have a postcard. A bit like what the um the new Coca Cola truck came with. So that's what we got there. We also have another pin. Nice metal pin. Okay. Let's cut some of this tape off so we can actually get into the box. never known anything to be taped so much and here we have the little fusion flea See nice blue paintwork with like a silver fleck. I'm hoping the camera can pick that up. So it's quite weighty. Uh, looks like she lights up as well. So let's just pull that out. And then we'll have a little look around. So under here. Oh yes, we have the engine. The classic blue glow. Quite cool. I also noticed the little side vents. I mean, you can actually see it with this lighting, but they're glowing blue as well. And then when you shut it, it turns off. And then we can open up cab. Let's see if we can get a better view. It's quite tricky. Get you guys a decent view inside it. It's very well built. It's extremely solid. It's a tiny diddy little thing. There's some steering.
All right, so let's take you guys off this mount. And take you in, see if we can get you a bit of a closer look at it. So let's say it's mainly all metal construction. Rack care at the back is obviously plastic. Same with the guard long hair on the front is plastic. Really pleased with the paintwork. Really must get myself a turntable. Be a lot easier to display things. Nice blue glow there coming from the engine. Not really much to go over on this because it is quite a small collectible. I say it's heavy, well built. Lovely paint detailing. You know me, I do love my paint detailing. It is just a cool little collectible vehicle. Now obviously if we put it beside the actual delivery vehicle, you can see the size difference. It is a tiny little diddy thing. It would probably literally fit in the back of it. Now I've said that, you know what I need to do. Whoop. Will it fit? No, not quite. Not quite. We'll do it if we want to put it on its side and drop it in. There we go. So the Fusion Flea will actually fit inside the back of the delivery, uh, the delivery, the delivery truck with plenty of room to spare. So like I said guys, this collectible came from the one company something you're interested in it is available for these for these guys through the Europe store I say it's very very small the measurements are actually on the top of the box 193 millimeters long so it's not a massive collectible but it is kind of cool so yeah I haven't really got much more to say about it it's just a little metal die cast car I said 118 scale made by the one company fantastic paint detailing blue illumination in the back no illumination in the front but obviously say we can lift it up hasn't got a lot of detail really in the front we've just got the two front dials and the pedals nice peachy colored seat so yeah guys nice little collectible to add to the ever-growing Fallout collection. I mean, I'm not a massive Fallout fan. This is, I really do like the collectibles. You know, here at Beanie's Hobbies, we like to collect anything and everything. Where do the better? And like I say, I just do like the design and the paint detailing on these vehicles. So, yeah, guys, that's it for me for waffling on for this one. Stay tuned. We've probably got some more unboxings coming up. Hope everybody's staying safe. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!